Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Novotny, and we're going to continue looking at all the ways that we can contribute to pain in our body related to the couch. We talked last time about how to use the coffee table to get our knees up higher to get us more in a fetal position. Now, ideally, we'd like to be sitting straight and having support behind our back like a pillow, but I know that's not going to happen all the time. Sometimes we have to look at someone across or we turn and we sit cockeyed. One of the things I also see is like in this instance, there's an armrest right here and people will lay and look straight at a TV. They lay cockeyed and what happens is one side of the spine area gets compressed and the other side gets opened. Now the problem with that is when you're sitting like that for a long period of time, that can actually cause certain muscles to activate and other ones to deactivate. And if you're watching something emotionally and your body gets charged and your muscles tighten up, they can start to hold you in that position without your awareness. And so when you go to sit up, all of a sudden you have a crick in your side. And please be very aware, especially if it's something emotional you're watching or you're talking to someone and it's very emotional, be aware of your body position because there's a guarding factor that happens if our body's charged up. Now, ideally, this couch has a nice long section. If I really wanted to lay down, I could lay straight with my knees slightly bent and look straight ahead at the TV. I don't necessarily have to lay cockeyed and crooked. So it might need to take some arrangements and look at how your furniture is laid out if you're watching TV or if you have an iPad, but really look at that. Even how I'm sitting right now, I'm doing that for a short period of time, but I'm not gonna stay that way a long time because I don't want my muscles to imprint on closing down this side of my spine and opening this side for a long period of time. It's always good to get back into neutral and to make sure that you don't feel any repercussions of sitting cockeyed or sitting crooked. If you have questions about this or if you're in a position you're not sure of, please let me know. I would love to hear from you, amy at paberinstitute.com. I hope this was helpful. Bye guys.